Let's go back in time just a little bit. We have outgrown the shed. We're gonna be building a completely new shed. This one's gonna be wood construction and we're not actually building it, but I will kind of explain that as we get to that part of the videos. So I got numerous requests to do a shed update and I'm overdue for that for sure. So today, let's do an update on the shed, kind of talk about the size, the build, all that stuff. It's coming right up. I'd say probably one of the first comments that we've been getting from a lot of people is are you guys putting an addition onto your house or what is this thing? Because it's pretty big. So the first thing is it's a 14 by 15 shed and before you go ahead and go down to the comments and say Ryan why didn't you do 14 by 16 that makes much more sense. You're right it would however it doesn't really fit in this exact space. So we went 15 feet just because it's basically as big as we could make it and still fit into this space and yes it would have been nice if it would have been 16 but going another foot towards our patio or another foot out the other way which I can show you here in a second just doesn't really fit we either cut down our patio area or we're gonna cut into what's a really big slope into our yard so it makes it even more difficult to build so of course that's a really big shed looks more kind of like a mini garage but that's kind of what I'm going for because as you know I like to gather lawn equipment and this is going to be kind of lawn care central for me. The next thing I should probably touch on is why it's taking so long to build and that's basically because this was a project for a local high school shop class. They do a construction class so we thought it'd be a pretty good opportunity for them to build something like this. They were looking for a project to do. Then we just supply all the materials for them and then they've been building things here. So the only downside to that is that it's taking a little bit longer. They only have a couple hours a day with their classes to work on this. So that's a little bit of the reasoning why it's taking so long. But so school is done in the next couple days so we'll have to kind of just finish whatever's left at that point. It looks like they will probably have most of the structure done, the shingles maybe all the windows put in hopefully and then we'll probably have to do some siding on it so there's a few downsides there as far as timing goes but it's a good deal because we just had to supply the materials to them so let me explain here just a little bit of what we got going on so we have a four foot wide by three foot high window on that side and underneath here is going to be probably about a six foot long workbench or so. Haven't decided exactly on the dimensions, but that's gonna go underneath that area so that we get some natural light on there. Up on the front side and on the back side, we have a six foot long transom window that will go in there. This is basically just for light and to get some natural light in here. Uh, that's really all it's good for, but I didn't wanna take up too much space on the wall with more windows that are like full size but I also didn't want to have just a plain big wall on that side. I just thought it would look a little bit too tall without something in there so that's kind of what that is. And over here we're gonna have just a two by two window. I just put this in again for a little bit more light but also it'll have a screen in it so I can open that up and let some air through so you'll get some air moving from that side all the way across to the other side. And then of course we have a regular 36 inch door so you can see our fence over there. We don't have currently a door out the back side of our garage which maybe someday would be cool but for now we have to come around the garage there go through the fence and then I thought instead of having to walk all the way around the shed this way or all the way through this way over here I just thought it would be a little bit easier to just put a door there you can go in and out of for just small things so that won't be for my mowers but it'll just be to come in and out and then up top here, what I'm planning on doing with these trusses is probably just putting a board across there to the middle and then one on this side. So you'll have just a little bit of a loft over that area. I can just throw hoses up there or little things that I don't need to get to all the time, but it would be nice to have somewhere to stash them away that's not on the walls or on the floor or anything like that. So there are also a few challenges in building in this exact specific spot where we were. Of course, our other shed was only an eight by 10 and so it fit a lot better into this little spot but we can't we don't really have a flat spot out in our yard where we could have built this and i just didn't think it would look that good i like it naturally up by the house just because it's easier to build some kind of patio in between our deck and the shed eventually that was the plan so because of that height over there on that far corner you can see 
Hopefully you can see this through the scaffolding there. Of course it's raised up quite a bit just because of the way our land is sitting and it naturally slopes down that way. So eventually what we're going to have to do is put some sort of probably small retaining wall around this side just to make it look natural, make it look like it's not kind of sitting up so high over there. So that was one of the challenges that we kind of faced with it as far as putting the shed into that specific spot. So eventually we'd like that to come along here and we had an idea of building a patio in between the shed and then in between our deck that was the original plan but now we're thinking since this you can see here this has to be raised up quite a bit to like right there we're thinking maybe we will just build another deck from this area over here and just kind of build a platform deck through this area all the way over to the shed and then I can go back with my mowers back on that back side over there and I could just build just a tiny ramp down there to go out that backside with the mowers. And then up here in the front, right up in this area, we can extend that block all the way across, maybe two block high or so here is what it would take, maybe a little bit more. And then we can have some steps out onto the yard at this point. So that would be kind of the overall plan eventually. I just wanted to kind of explain what's gonna go on, but for now, I'm just excited that I have a new shed to put all of my stuff into. Uh, it's much bigger. I'll have a little bit of a workbench and it just won't be so cramped in there I don't have to move mowers and move equipment around all the time just to get to things If I missed anything in there today on this little update that you wanted to learn Please let me know in the comment section below I'm sure that I probably forgot something or some question that some of you have so leave me a comment Thanks so much for watching this one. We'll see you next time